All right. Good afternoon. We are at the 25th of June, 2024. And we have been out watering the olive trees and the mulberry trees. On my last video, which I made about an hour or two ago, I inadvertently called a persimmon tree a mulberry tree. Well, I'm not much on editing videos, so I guess you'll just have to realize that this is pretty much a one-take studio here. So every now and then I'm going to say something like that, but anyway, that tree that I was pointing out, that Hachia persimmon, was not a mulberry tree. All right, guess what we're talking about now? We're talking about mulberry tea, mulberry leaf tea. Now here's the remnants of the mulberry leaf. We took some milk, we pruned a mulberry tree back yesterday and we stripped the leaves off, boiled them in water, poured it through a colander, which is what this is. Oh, we used to call this a sieve. It is. And then got the leaves off of it. I mean, separated it. And we've been drinking a little mulberry tea with stevia sweetener and a little cream, whipping cream, at night. Just a little bit, and it's very tasty. So it's 99 degrees today, and uh, we are in the house now, and it's not 99, but since we do not have central heating and air in this house. Uh, we've got a little fan that blows on us, and we're quite comfortable here. Uh, you don't have to have all that stuff. But I will make full disclosure, we do have a room window unit air conditioner in our bedroom that we use at night when we sleep. But we have been in situations where the power was out for an extended period of time and we got along okay you know we didn't die from it and we started to get used to it but anyway I'm going to try mulberry iced tea now iced tea is pretty much a staple around this house but that's uh, India tea I guess or wherever they get wherever it comes from and uh, here's our mulberry tea that we poured off. It's a, an amber color. It's got its own distinct flavor, and I like the flavor. Now today, I, since it's so hot, I said, well, let's try some, some mulberry iced tea. So I got some here in the glass, and I put a little stevia in it to sweeten it, to taste. And now I'm going to put ice in it, and we have mulberry iced tea. Get it nice and cold. That's very refreshing. If you had a mulberry tree or two in your yard and you kept it cut back where you could have access to the leaves, you could pretty much kiss the grocery store goodbye for tea. Uh, I don't think it would take long to, to for this to become your favorite tea drink. Hot or iced tea. I've tried three different mulberry tree leaves, three different varieties, one of them and... Uh, I don't taste any difference in the in the leaves. Mulberry leaves apparently are mulberry leaves. If you will search the internet and search YouTube, you'll find out that mulberry tea overseas and all is is a, a well known type of tea. So there it is, mulberry iced tea, and I'm going to pour this in my little thermos. I'm going out to get some olive cuttings, Arbacina olive, and it was 99 degrees today, and it still is out there. 
and I'm going to get those olive cuttings and I'm going to try to root them and as an experiment I've often wondered when is the best time to root plants I guess different trees would be different times but I really don't see any reason that you couldn't root an olive tree on the 25th I can't seem to get that on there good on the 25th of June and we're going to give it a try so try you some mulberry tea try it hot if you like hot tea with a little whipping cream try it without with ice and mulberry with nothing in it and if you like a little sweetener do the sweetener of your choice all right that's the mulberry tea discussion. Thank you for watching.